Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be installing a Camp Luck shower to this beautiful camper van. So I've got the Bullfinch barbecue point here and what I've done is I've just removed the fitting off the back for now because I want to figure out where the best place in this piece of plastic trim here is to put the barbecue point. Now on these, on these vans, this front piece of plastic here unfortunately goes into the bodywork so there's no room behind that piece of plastic to get your copper pipe in. So I'm going to go for this piece of trim here which is below the light cluster and all of that there is empty. There's no electrics in it. I think there's one little cable but it doesn't. It's, I'm going to be able to move that out of the way to fit this point and it's not going to interfere with the vehicle's um, structure or systems. So. There's a little, I think it's a 60 mil hole, they said. No, it's a little bit larger than that. There's a hole that I'm gonna have to drill in here to allow for that part of the barbecue fill point to go through to the back. Um, I'm gonna go and pick out the hole saw and then we're gonna mark it up and get that, that drilled through. Now marked up where this is gonna go. So what I wanted to do, I want it before this crease here starts. So I want it up, up there so that it sits flush against the bumper. I also need it far enough away from this crease that it's not gonna overlap. Um, it's going to be inset to the bumper a little bit. So I've just put that up. I've marked the hole through the center of the fill point, uh, which is there. Um, and then I'm going to drill a little pilot hole. I've then got a 64 mil hole saw, which is just here. So that's going to uh, create the final hole. And then this piece will be able to screw into the bumper itself. Right, so there's our pilot hole drilled. Uh, and that's going to stop this from slipping around when it goes on there. Now, I just want to make sure any cables and wires are outside the way inside. Yeah, that's not going to hit it. fitting point there for the um, for the barbecue point which isn't too prominent so you don't really you're not going to really notice it against the plastic trims but it's a really nice point there for it to go in so we're underneath the van as you can see here's the gas bottle i'm just going to isolate the gas off at the moment and that's going to enable me to work on the pipes uh, but we're just going to head inside and i want to empty all these gas lines to make sure there's nothing in there when i'm opening them up so I'll head inside and I'll show you how to do that. So this one's really easy. I'm just going to turn the gas on and I'm just going to wait until that runs out. So there's obviously going to be gas in the lines. I want it all gone. Um, so just turn them on, leave it until it's gone. Uh, it's a pressurized system. So just let that burn out and then um, all of your lines will be empty and your pipe work is safe to work on. Okay, so Obviously the plastic bumper isn't going to take screws very well, so I need something on the other side to receive the screws and really pull it in, otherwise that uh, barbecue point is going to be loose and when you start putting connections in, it could start moving around. So I'm going to do that by using a little bit of plywood. As you can see here, I've cut a hole with the same size hole saw. Um, I've marked around the barbecue point, so we've got enough plywood there just for the screws to go in and it's just going to tighten everything up together. So I'll cut this and then that can go inside the bumper for the fill point to secure into. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the plywood on the inside. So what I meant by that is that is gonna go into the bumper there. Um, that flexes a little bit as well with the plastic if there's any shapes or contours. And then our barbecue point is gonna go on there and the screws are gonna catch in the plywood there so that it's not gonna move around in future and it's gonna get a nice seal. So now I've got the wood on the inside. Um, I've put the Bullfinch barbecue point back in. Now what I like to try and do when I'm putting stuff into bumpers or into bodywork is to try and line it up on, on the same angle as something else so it looks nice and neat. Now if I if on this if you look on this piece here, if you angle it like that, it's gonna look like it's crooked. So the best thing to do here is, is gonna be to line this edge up with this piece of trim here, and that's just gonna make it look nice and finished. Um, you won't really see, you're not going to see the angle from the top looking down, but as you look at the vehicle side on, um, you're going to be looking at that profile there between this line here and the joint in the bumper itself. 
Okay, so now I've got this lined up um, with the side, uh, the side trim here. What I'm gonna do is I put my little drill bit back on the drill um, and I'm gonna go through and make uh, two pilot holes on the top edge so that we can get some screws in. Once that's then secured in place, I will then make the bottom two, um, only because it may, it may move slightly and I don't wanna make too many pilot holes and for it to be wrong when I wanna put a screw in. So let's just go with the top edge first. So I'm happy with that there. I'm gonna try and get in the center of that hole there to go back. There you go. Um, and then what I'll do, just make sure the plywood's on the back, which it is, and I'm going to hold that plywood as I screw it in, just so it doesn't move away, and I'll make sure that the screw catches it. So, I don't know if you can hear me, it's really windy now. Um, I've got a stainless steel screw, and the bullfinch kit comes with these little O-ring washers um, to go inside each hole. So, that's going to go there. Um, and then, I'm going to go around to the back, make sure the wood is in place. You need five, hand, five pairs of hands to do this. Uh, or you need to smack yourself in the face as you do it. Oh. Yeah, the joys of working on vans, it's not that glamorous. Right, so that's not fully gone through the plywood there, so I want to take that out. Actually, let's have it. There you go, that's caught the plywood. And then that allows us to go through. I'm going to go diagonally actually and get it in down in this corner first and then I'll go for the other two corners there. barbecue fill point mounted in the corner of the bumper so when you're on a campsite you can just plug your little barbecue in there or your shower on the back doors and you've got a nice secure fill point to use your LPG outside the van. So underneath the van I've got a gas pipe running from left to right so what I want to do is um, tap into that source and I want to send another line going that way down the van and I'm going to do that by using an equal T so at the moment propane tank fuels the propex which is here and the gas cooker which is over the other side so if i install this in the middle i'm going to have one going off to the propex one's going to be going off to the gas stove and this one here in the middle is going to be going back to the back of the van for the barbecue fill point um, i'm going to be using these which is a c-type uh, cutter and this cuts copper pipe you just tighten it up um, slowly rotate it a few times around the pipe tighten it up again and keep going until it and um, gives you a nice clean cut on the copper pipe. So I'll be doing that now. Okay, so uh, after a lot of frustration underneath the van and getting covered in mud, I'm now at the back door. So the plumbing's complete, there's no leaks, it's all been leak checked. Um, this is gonna have a gas sign off before it goes to the new owner. 
um, on the back door is the Camp Lux. Now, I forgot to film putting it on, but it is just three screws. There's one at the top here and two at the bottom. That secures it to the door. What I did do is there is a white handle on the back that was spacing it off, and that's if you want to hang it on a tree or a railing or something like that. So I've removed that, and that's just gone straight on the back door. So the next thing is going to be getting the fittings on underneath and plumbing that in. So this is going to be the moment of truth or not. I've got the hose there. Um, I've got my little propane hose ready, which I'm going to go around and connect into the LPG point. So if you come around, I can show you how I do that. So you lift the flap here, it goes in that way, that locks in, and then your gas is live. Um, the hose is going to come to this cold water point, which is the blue one on the outside. That locks in, and you can do that with any hose lock. I'm a bit scared because I'm on film and this is might not work. Um, so we've got a stop and start on the shower. So I'm going to make sure that's stopped so I don't get soaked as soon as this turns on. The shower goes in there. So technically, when I turn the tap on, this should work. Um, if it doesn't, I might cry. Let me just go and see what leaves that there. Oh my goodness, hot water. So there you go. And oh, I can, the furnace is off, so the detail batteries have worked. And that is a really, really nice warm shower. And when you're done, you just click that on the shower head itself, and that turns your heater off as well. So there you go, it's lit. Hot water, off, off. Perfect, I'm really happy with that. The next stage, it's just going to be plumbing the system up from the pump so that it's replacing the tap itself. But that's the system installed. Uh, shower's done. I just need to get the shower head mounted up here. Um, and that is a really, really nice piece of kit. So I'm going to be installing those on my vans in future. Head over to Amazon, check the link below. I'll check the description in there. I think it's 180 pounds. Uh, the ball finch thing was like 50 quid. So for an outdoor barbecue point and shower, it's less than about 350 quid uh, for all the bits that I've bought. So well worth it. Um, I'm going to shower. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you inside the van. I'm all finished now. Um, and I'm going to show you what I've done underneath the bed. So it's all done. Um, we've got the camp lux installed on the back door. Um, this is the little barbecue hose, which is uh, held there by a nice clip so it doesn't fall off when you're driving along. We'll go and plug that in in a minute. Um, and then in here, we've got all the plumbing. Um, which is linked to the water canister. So if you just come down here a little bit, if you give me the thumbs up, Mum, who's recording at the moment, whether you can see this stuff here. Yeah. So we've got the shore flow, uh, the sea flow pump on the side, um, which then goes straight into a pressure vessel, which is set to 42 psi, and that then goes off into a T piece, one which goes to the tap inside the kitchen. Um, and one which runs along here and I'm going to show you that in a minute for the rear shower. So all I do is turn the pump on and the whole system's got pressure, shower and tap and then when you're done with showering or washing your dishes you turn the pump off up there. So I'm going to pop out now um, and I will show you how I've plumbed all this in to connect up to this lovely hot shower that we've got going here. So I've got a hose lock installed on the end um, and I have put an inline tap um, on the system just there. And all that does is when I want to turn the shower off, I know that I've only got that much water left that I've got to shake out so that the back of the van isn't getting soaked. So that comes down here and you plug that into the blue cap just there. Um, the shower head itself is just here. Um, and that goes onto the red connection there. It also has a little mount there. And then the barbecue point, which I've got here, um, if we just come around the corner, I've mounted the barbecue point on the bump here, which I showed you earlier in the video. 
but that goes on there, twists up, and that's all connected. So that's a really nice, smooth connection. And then if we go here, um, the next thing to do is to open uh, this valve here, which sends water um, to the unit itself. And then we turn that on. The system ignites. So we've got heat going through there. And then we're gonna have, there you go, instant hot water straight through the top of the shower head. So the new owners, which will be here any second now, can, they're gonna, I think, create a shower curtain between these two doors. Um, and then they've got piping hot water to have nice showers on campsites. Um, I'm gonna, I've got some photos. I'm gonna be doing a blog post. If you want to know um, what I've used in the system here, I'll also be putting the descriptions for those down in the link below, so check those out. Head over to Instagram and check that out as well about my van. Um, I hope this video that I'm going to compile has been useful for you if you're planning on installing an outdoor shower in your van. And I hope that you found all the content useful. Thanks for watching and have a great day.